this on. Okay. Hi guys, my name is Alexia and this is my first ever YouTube video. I am so excited about it and I cannot wait to put out more videos for you. So if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see how I did my everyday natural makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's go. Let's do it. I thought that for my first YouTube video, I would do like get ready with me, but I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Twitter and thank God you did. <laughs> so I'm just going to answer the questions while I do my makeup and hopefully I will be able to do both at the same time. So I already um, moisturized my face, but I'm going to use a primer. I use the Laura Mercier foundation primer hydrating just because my face is so dry in the winter time so gotta get that hydration going um and we're going to see what the first question is so i have them on my phone the first question is what's your favorite travel story so if you don't know i do travel a lot my favorite travel story would be um i don't know i love them all but i would say that the most magical one was when i was seven years old and my parents took me to disneyland and oh my god that was the first time that i ever went on the plane i ever traveled and i was like wow <laughs> like i could see like the castle the princess and oh, was just amazing so I would say that that was my favorite so as I said before for my makeup for everyday makeup I am NOT using any foundation I used to and I was using the Urban Decay Naked Skin that was my favorite still is my favorite when I go out I am using the Stay Naked um, in the shade 40 NY and yes I know it's a concealer but I do use it like for my coverage and yeah so I just use it under my eyes and oh for the record I am not a professional makeup artist so I do what works for me um what are the other questions what do we have here um any piece of advice you feel like sharing with you viewer um well I don't think like I am the kind of person who can give any advice just because I don't think that I'm better than anyone else. Um, but I would say always trust yourself, whether it's with your friends, your family, like people that you don't even know, you just met. If you feel something is wrong and something is off, like this is something that my mom always told me, it's like trust your guts. You're always right. Like if you feel in your heart and like something is wrong, then you are right. Don't try to like overthink it. My second advice is don't be afraid to ask the questions. Don't be afraid to show that you don't know. Like being human is about not knowing and learning every single day. And I just think that the whole cancel thing so stupid like on the internet and stuff because you have to like ask questions if you want to know about something but when you do ask questions people are like oh she's cancelled because she doesn't know but like this is the whole thing that this is the whole point you have to ask to know things i know it's not really an advice like that one but i keep seeing stuff on the internet and makes me mad <laughs> to be pretty honest with you okay so i think we are set i'm just going to set this with some powder and i do use again urban decay naked uh, palette and i'm just going to use the lighter shade right here just to settle the concealer my eyes because we don't want it to crease and on my nose as well because as I said it tends to crease around here as well and we don't want that okay 
Okay, we are good. So, next question. Uh, why did you start your channel? Well, I do talk to myself on a daily basis. Um, yes, I do. And I thought, why not just start the YouTube channel so I get to talk to an actual camera and not myself. Wow, that sounds so lonely and sad. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. So yeah, and I do hope that I can help anyone in any way. If it's not with makeup or fashion, just like by being myself. If I can make you happy or just like make you like forget about your life, about your problems, just for like two minutes, then my job is done. Anyways, going back to the makeup, I'm just going to give a little bit of definition to my face. So I'm using the Hoola Contour Stick and I'm just using it to give a little bit of definition, as I said, to my cheeks. So the other question is, what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is hands down Christmas. I love Christmas. I love being with my family. I love cooking. Christmas dinner. I don't get a lot of holidays because, oh, sorry about that, I do have a friend who wants to communicate with me, which is rare. I always put a little bit on my, my forehead. But we're just going to put some powder and I'm just going to use the Hula uh, powder. Let's hide this double chin away. We don't need him today. By the way, his name is Pedro. And Pedro really, really loves his spot. He doesn't want to live on holidays. He doesn't want to live at all. So we have to live with Pedro. And to like finish the whole look, I'm just going to use the Dallas powder. And it's just to give a little bit of glow because there's glitter in it. And I don't want to be like really matte. We want a dewy face and I put it on my neck as well. Okay, all good. Um, let's do the brows. I do have quite natural thick brows, so I don't do much. I just brush them up. So, and I'm just going to fill them a little bit. So I'm using the Bro Defining Pencil in the shade 5 from Benefit. Okay, so yeah, I don't really do much. And then we're just going to set this in place. Okay, cool. And this gel in is in the shade 3. Okay, on my eyes I don't do much, I'm not like I'm going to be honest with you. I am just using some dark eyeshadow color and I'm using the one from Kylie, the first palette that she put out. And I'm just like dipping it, dipping my brush into this color and I'm just going to act like I'm doing some liner. I'm not doing with like eyeliner gel just because I don't know how to do it and I feel like with powder like my mistakes don't see like don't show as much. I'm going to Paris this weekend. I'm going to see Love and I adore him. I'm so excited. So yeah, this is what my liner looks like and yeah, I'm going with my best friend which is really exciting. She's not like the concert kind of girl, so I'm trying to turn her into one, but I don't think it's really working. Like, she thinks that I'm a crazy person for camping out of a venue for like a whole night. Maybe I am. Who knows, but I do like it and yeah, we'll see how it goes. The next questions are about five seconds of summer because if you don't know, I am a huge fan of of summer they are my favorite band ever um and i'm quite obsessed if you can say so um i already seen them 
live 14 times around Europe because I do travel to see them. Uh, so yeah, uh, the first question is about how I became a 5 of stand. So I was a One Direction fan at the beginning. I mean, guys, it's One Direction. Everyone loves One Direction. So yeah, I was like a big, big One Direction fan and I decided to go see them in concert in London in 2014. And Five Second of Summer was the opening act. And I knew about them, I've already like listened to a few of their songs before. And I was like, hmm, I love them, I like them, hmm, let's see. And I always, always begin become a fan of someone after I see them in life just because I want to be sure they are as good live as they are on the album and stuff and so that's what happened with Five Seconds of Summer they were even better and this is when I really started to be a huge fan like huge fan <laughs> um, so which singers do I listen to apart from Five Seconds of Summer? A lot and I don't think that I have a type of music because I do listen to a lot of songs and a lot of artists um, so yeah but back to the makeup just before I answer this question uh, we did the eyes and so now I'm just going to put some blush and it's a blush with a little bit of glitter in it and it's from Sephora and it's the shade number 16 called heated so yeah and so i do listen to aussie little mix um Martin five like there's so many people i don't think that i could ever name you everyone but i will leave a link to my playlist on spotify if you want to have a look if you're interested you don't have to i'm not claiming that i have like good taste in music because I don't know if it's good, but it's mine, so I do like it. Maybe you will too, maybe you won't. Who knows? And now I'm just going to put some eyeliner on. It's from the palette, like the one that I use to settle my um, concealer. And yeah, it's just a really nice and natural highlight. As you can see, it's not really like popping, but um, I am working in the hospital, so people don't really want to see popping highlighter on my face. Okay, now we're going to do the lips. And I'm going to line my lips with um, a lip liner from Sephora once again. And it is in the shade number 2 and it's called Nothing But Nude. And I just think that it's the most perfect nude color ever. So I'm just slightly overlining my lips. And to finish it, I am just using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade 16. Uh, no, wait, it's Cairo. Cairo? Cairo? I don't know, but like a light new shade. To give it a nice color, we're just going to set everything in place. This is how it looks like. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want more, please let me know. One of the questions was if I could drop my skin routine. So if you're interested in getting one, just let me know. I would love to film 
like this thing. This is literally the most easiest thing that I do. I think it's really simple and really effective. So if you want me to film this for you, let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will subscribe to my channel if you want. I will try to upload new videos every single week and I'm really excited to see how it turns out. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.